Well, good morning. It's Monday morning. Um, it's a great week. Yes, it is. It's an awesome week, you know. Yeah. Well, today... We, the, we, will, we had a great time yesterday. At yes, our, our 4th of July. 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good time. Uh, lots of good food. Our devotion today is entitled, You Are Not Alone. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and 7, it says this, So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time he will lift you up in oh, honor. Yeah. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. Yeah. King James says he careth for you. Oh. Yes, so praise God. Well, we know that. We know God cares about us. Oh, sure you know, we're his children, just like we care about our own natural children. He also carries cares about us. Well, and he promises he never leaves us nor forsakes us. So yeah. we're really never alone. It's just the enemy will tell you in your mind, sure. you're facing this situation all alone. Nobody's yeah. there with you. Yeah. yeah. I think you, you know, of course, we. my tendency is to go right back to the Word of God. And and um, I was looking at some, just ran some quick scriptures in uh, Deuteronomy 31, where uh, he tells um, Joshua to be strong and courageous for the Lord your God is with thee, you mm -hmm. know. And then in Hebrews 13, 5, it says he goes before you and he will never leave you. Mm -hmm. So he works there. And then in Joshua 1, 5, again, he tells Joshua, he said, be strong and courageous, you know, for I will never leave you. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. You know, and I know we've got down here, God was with Moses when he parted the Red Sea, right. you know, just like he was with Joshua when they took on the, the city of Jericho. Right. He was even with Moses when Moses was uh, in Pharaoh's house, if you will. Yeah. God was ne God had never left no. Moses from the time he was a child. He may not have always realized it, but as he grew up, because he wasn't in the Jewish home anymore, mm -hmm. but he did have his mom there teaching him right. on the side. So right. praise God. God never left him, did he? No, God never leaves us. You know, we have that. It, it's, uh, it's more than a religion, and that's what people have to understand, that Christianity is not just uh, about form. And it's not about rituals. Mm -hmm. It is about a relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's the thing that uh, I love about Christianity, not religion, Christianity, mm -hmm. and that is it is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. My Bible tells me that he knows my name. Now you think of all the billions of people that are in the world today or think about all the billions of people or millions or billions, whatever, people who have lived in the past and God knew their name, Amen. knew everything about them. That's why he's, he's called. A, and he does, the future generations. Yeah, like absolutely. Yep, see. And so he's omniscient, so he's all-knowing. And I like what that statement that you make a lot of times that says that he's already walked into our future. Well, God knows those things that are coming, and if we'll listen to him, he'll equip us and prepare us for those times that That's are coming. That's right, and, and he's with you. He's saying the whole time you're going through a challenge, I'm with you. Stand on my word. You know, his if you're speaking forth his word, that's another form of God being with you. Yeah. Not just in his spirit being inside of you, but when you're speaking the word, that is just enforcing, uh, reinforcing, excuse me, reinforcing the fact that he's with you. Yeah. Because the word, the word is alive and it's working constantly. So yeah. as you speak forth the word, you're gonna see miracles take place. You're gonna see things move around. You know, um, we, we just need to, to know how to pray the word because as we pray the word, then we speak and we pray and we Amen. know that God is sending forth angels yes. to bring about whatever it is we're speaking for. He watches over his word to, perf uh, to perform it. That's Amen. what Jeremiah 1, eight says. You know, it's uh, interesting the fact that uh, in Matthew 6, he talks about uh, God taking care of the birds and God clothing the flowers and all. God cares about all of those things. If those are the least things, how much more does he care about us? Amen. And I think that's Amen. that's the thing you have to understand. That no matter what you're going through today, that God's on your side, number one. He's for you. He's not only for you, he's with you. Amen. He said he would never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. And we need to have that confidence. Amen. Amen. That's, Amen. Right. that's a good word 
today. That's a good, oh, I, I think my time's over then. All right, praise God. Well, Father, we just thank you, Lord, for your blessings in our life. We thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us. You're always there with us in every, not just in the good times, but in the difficult times as yes. well. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen.